You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. The 2008 banking crisis was a crisis that was really created because of big government. The financial crisis was the result of government housing policy. But one of the interesting facts of Dodd-Frank is that the study on what caused the crisis was released after the law was created. I think what the law really was um, was a political response to many political objectives and not to the financial crisis. And therefore, it will probably fail to ameliorate any future crisis to come. And there will be new rules to make clear that no firm is somehow protected because it is too big to fail. The too big to fail problem has not been resolved. Today, the four biggest banks are 30% larger than they were just five years ago. And the five largest banks hold more than half of all the total banking assets in the country. So these reforms will help lift our economy and lead all of us. A potentially troubling sign for the economy. New numbers show that America's economy is shrinking. Participation in the workforce right now is at the lowest rate in almost 40 years. And while wages remain largely stagnant, but median family income is still where it was in 1995. Because wages have stagnated, there's still a perception out there, correctly so, that this recovery has benefited Wall Street much more than Main Street. No matter how you slice it, it is the officially now, according to the St. Louis Fed, the worst recovery ever. The number of full-time jobs, and that's what everybody wants, as a percent of the total population is the lowest it's ever been. We've lost 2,000 banks. So what does that mean? That means those 2,000 community banks are not in a position anymore to help small people get their first foot on the first rung of the capitalist ladder. That's very bad, and I think clearly you can aim your sights at Dodd-Frank and its <laughs> excess. Credit's so tight, even Ben Bernanke can't get a loan. He recently tried to refinance his mortgage and was unsuccessful. When the audience laughed, Bernanke said, wait, no, he wasn't making it up. He said, I think it's entirely possible the lenders may have gone a little bit too far. 14,000 pages of rules. I mean, are you kidding me? 400 rules and 14,000 pages. Think about the resources that have been involved in Dodd-Frank. That's a failure as well. 